other hammers must yield. Brokered Sindri made two gifts that outshone the works of the sons of Ivaldi. Now they meant to make their masterpiece. Mjolnir, Giant's Bane, a hammer that could level mountains, that never missed its mark on the throne, and always returned to the hand of its owner. A third time they set about the forge. It had to be kept at exactly the right temperature for their work to be perfect. And yet again, Loki visited as a family. So desperate to make Broca fail, he bit the dwarf's eye harder than any fly had ever bitten before. This time, he did not fail. The hammer was flawed. The handle, a fraction too short. Yet even so, we judged the work of Sindri and Broker superior. Loki lost his bet, and his head was forfeit. Few would have mourned the death of Loki. <laughs> but of course, the trickster found a way to go back on his word. A tale for another time, perhaps. Impressed with the craft of the Dwarven Smiths, Loki set them to fashioning great gifts he could bring to Asgard, and win back the favor he had lost. Skidbladnir, best of all ships, beloved by the wind, big enough to carry all of Asgard's finest into battle. Small enough to fit into a pocket. This would be Freya's gift, and it pleased them well. With such gifts, would Loki find forgiveness? My 
My brother always knew how to win hearts. And to him, it was almost as easy as breaking them. Guards here are vigilant.
I should not be seen in this area. on the ritual they are performed at night there's emphasis on something called a salakar the elephant is rusty vessel of souls i think is this the object from the vault the culprit searches for a jotun and a muspel subject to complete their work muspels killing muspels Deciphering elven runes. Something about the binding of only the most powerful Hoogers. A letter from Sinmara. 
as much secrecy about the culprit's affairs. Only she and Sutra I wear. You're light on your feet, Asa. Following me now? You've become quite useful, Aesir. My gratitude for opening the vault. Now tell me, what happened there? I'm following the stink as it rises. As are you. Care to tell me why that is? Days ago, Sinmara ordered my best warriors to the vault without bothering to inform me. I've not heard from them since. Well, you're casting your suspicions at the right people. Whose quarters are these? His name is Kaldir, an adept in magic. Or Seder, as you Asgardians sometimes call it. This place is where he practices it. Whatever he's doing, it is not Seder. At least not as I know it. He is using something called a Salakar. It's part of a deadly ritual. And from what this room tells me, the dead will continue to pile up. Dwarves, Yotna, Muspels. I don't know what you're talking about. You wouldn't. Your stepmother despises and distrusts you. Your father only the latter of those, for now. But in time, thanks to her venomous whispers, he may come to hate you as much as she does. This is a lie. I, all of oh. it. Your twisted attempt to pit me against them. <laughs> Sift through the mesh yourself. No other truth lies within. Where are you going? After the Salakar. Whatever it is, your father needs it. it Maybe the only leverage I have to get my son back. Calder marked a place on the maps around the Nile waters just northeast. If he's planning another ritual there, I may be able to understand what value this Salakar holds.
This roof should give me a clear view. Calder, with your permission, we will now return to Asa. Soon. I have need for you still. Asa's warriors. Where do they fit into all this? You are one of our captains, yes? A duty I share with two others here. I thought I saw something in you. Stout. Resolute. Step over here. Sigrun and Halstein were two of the most revered sons of Ivaldi. If such prestige is a requirement for these rituals, then Calder is surely luring that Muspel to his death. I wonder if there's a way I can observe the ritual up close. I need to approach Calder without him taking notice. Perhaps the best way is with deception. Suitors will. Who among you will hold that? What I must give.
surroundings. The mad one, or anyone else for that matter, shows again. Clear the area. Damn. No chance. Begin again. Keep alert. Come, join me, chosen ones. Together, we will enact Suter's will. Who among you will hold that distinct honor? Let us see. Steady. In service to Suter, we have nothing to fear. What are you going to do with that? Greatest honor.
Melstrad Manor shows again, they are to be brought to me. Come, join me, chosen ones. Together. Dad stand in her path. How hard was he knocked into this rock? Most likely dead upon impact. Freya wonders why I have always refused to take her on a tour of that scorched dunghill. Two sets of footprints. One is stretched, like someone fled. The other closer together, uneven and lined with blood. They were hobbling, perhaps.
Calder fought here. Blood was spilt. Asa and Calder fought here. He gained the advantage. Foolish girl. Asa, your rigs makes you vulnerable. She's hurt, but not enough to stop her. Looks like she followed Calder up that hill. Yeah! off limits. No sign of face are colder. Only these curious Yotan buffoons who stand in my way. They should run. They won't. There was a card here. The drag marks lead to it. Something must have caused the Moosebells to leave so abruptly. Finally, Bester. Asa chased Calder into this camp, leaking her lifeblood, blinded by rage and utterly reckless. <sighs> Looks to have cost her too. She came crashing in, mauling whatever half-wit stood between her and Calder. But those half-wits fought back in numbers. Injured and disarmed, she was overpowered and restrained. Calder then had her tossed onto a cart like a sack of turnips. Looks like they fled up that path. What is it Calder plans to do with the little princess now that she is his prisoner? Surely not. These tracks lead west. I must find Calder and the Selicar for Baldur's sake. <laughs> Is that you again, mad one? Come to tempt fate, I see. I do not die this day. Can you say the same? <laughs> ah, yes. You've proven once already how you like to strut around, unencumbered by fear. Perhaps... The Salakar did not give you an adequate taste of it. Enough of this blithering. Hand over what is now mine, or shall I just take it? To know fear, 
We must be subjected to it. When I am through with you, I will take Asus willful Uger. Soon after, the Salakar will be complete. Then, believe me, you will know fear and pain. Just like your son. Weak! Old! Frail! What happened, old father? Too much of that pretentious Asgardian air! Why is Sutra collecting hookahs? What does he mean to do with the Salakar? Tell me! Ask yourself how much you care to suffer in these final moments. Do your worst. You are wasting your breath. He will not tell you. And he won't have to. His secrets are known to me now. You want them? Move aside. Move aside or I will destroy it. Traitor! Traitor? It is you who are slaughtering your own kind. What I do, I do for Suta! Such devotion requires a strong Hugar. All these Muspel sacrifices, you need it only look inward. <laughs> Was he right? About you wanting to complete the Salakar? Sutra will not trade my son for something he cannot use. So you will see it through? To what end? How many lives would you take? For Balder, I would drain all nine realms. Even Asgard. The words of a dreadful king. And a selfless father. It is the one thing that separates you from my own. You wish to reunite with your son. I wish to see my father's plans lie in ruin. No matter the price. Can you see both through? I can. But I will need your help. The Salakar still requires the hooker of a suitable Jotun. Colton never found one. I must get hunting. Do as you will. In the meantime, I'll join my stepmother, wherever she may be. I will try to learn how the Salakar fits into my father's plans. Under the guise of a contrite stepdaughter, of course. Keep it. 
I will need a way to find you when it is time to confront my father. You and this bauble share a bond. I set out to use you to my advantage. It ends with me in your debt. If it were not for you, I would have never known what my father was capable of. He used our people. Turned them on each other. For his gain. I cannot forgive him. And to that end, I am your ally. In Asgard, an ally is a friend. Let us not get carried away.